Hi everyone, this is Gleb. There is an assertion in Cypress should match, and it actually does two things depending on the current subject. And let me show you what the difference is. First, let's say that the current subject is an element and get it using, for example, I don't know, site get command. And then if you write should match, what does it do? So right now we have this element, it has an ID, that's how we got it and also it has classes and it has text. So if you say an element should match, then you provide a selector. And the match associate checks if that element matches that selector. Um, you know, obviously, this element that we got should match the selector you know, ID1. Or it could be you know, a combination of an ID and, let's say, a class, because this element has button, button large. So we can actually use all these classes in addition, and the element matches that selector. And under the hood, it uses jQuery is method. And also, it allows you to use the jQuery selectors as well. So for example, there is one selector in jQuery that says uh, contains, and then you can specify the text that you find inside the element, so in this case, uh, first. And so the match selector uses jQuery is method to say, yeah, Whatever element is my current subject does match this whole selector. Now, on the other hand, let's say you have a string. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll say si get fruit. And now we have an element, and from there we can invoke the jQuery text method. So now we have text. If we use should match assertion, now we can match the current text against the regular expression. So for example, we can say orange, or we can make it sensitive, or we can provide several variants. It's all matching the regular expression against the text. By the way, you see how here I'm splitting the get and invoke? If you just want to match something against the regular expression, against the text, I strongly suggest that you use contains that allows you to specify the selector and the regular expression at the same time. I think it's more powerful because then, if an element is not found, it retries getting the fruit again. In this case, it might not retry getting the fruit, just will try invoking the text again and again. So this is the difference between match applied to jQuery object and match applied to the current subject, which is a text.